Okay, what we're going to do, this is a video to show how to move our curtains over. So I want to show you what we're going to do here. This section of the curtain has got to move from this place over to here. So I'm just going to show you quickly the different steps that are um, to do that, the few little clues. They're all hooked up there and they'll go across on hooks except where there's a round pole, you might need to tie it, but sometimes just stretching the end hooks can work. So you have your helpful assistant, <laughs> So it's time to hold the ladder and pass things up and make sure things are all really safe because we always do things safe here, not just well. And um, so first clue is keep an eye on your ladder so you don't hit things like the um, drain pipe and things like that. Keep it. The other clue is keep, your keep the ladder as close to the curtain as you can. Make sure the, the um, legs are not on the curtain because that'll stop you. But if even if you're over six inches, that's leaning, puts a lot more pressure on your muscles and can make it a bit unstable. So get the, get the ladder as close to where you want as possible. Also, get to where you need to be. Don't get to where you're stretching, all right? It's not safe and it's also harder on your muscles once you're doing that as opposed to lifting here. So we get in a good spot. And what we're gonna do, the theory is, we will drop the curtain first and then we will put it back up. In this case, we're not gonna drop all the curtain because the first part can stay where it is. Whereas this curtain, which we've already done here, we had to drop the whole lot, drag it over, and then put it back up. So with this one, it's a bit easier because we're gonna leave the end part. So let me just show you how this is done. It's pretty simple because of the use of hooks. So we've got my trusty helper there, keeping the ladder safe. They can also pass you bits of curtain or catching. And all it needs to do is go up and unhook and drop. Now you might be tempted to say, oh, I can reach that. Just for the extra two seconds to go down the ladder and move it over. Don't reach beyond what is safe. So we're there, okay, nice. Again, so it's pretty easy. I found this much easier than trying to move it whilst up there. Get it down, move it across, and then put it back up. See, with the help of that at the other end, it's up and down the ladder pretty quick. When you're taking the hooks off, if it's pulling, lift, lift a little bit with one hand so it's not holding the hook down, it makes it a little bit easier to get off. So take the weight off the hook that you're trying to unlift if it's stuck. The further you go, the heavier that curtain gets so it's more. Okay, and I think we're just about there. You can see here I'm holding the weight here while doing this one. It makes it a little bit easier than if I let the whole thing drag onto it. Again, so I come across here. Um, now because this is not got this, you can't hook onto this. I'm gonna get come down, move the ladder. Even though it's only that far, I'd prefer to swing the ladder around so I'm not putting weight either on the ladder or stretching myself. So we just move the curtain over. If pulling a piece of curtain is a bit heavy and you're struggling, um, what you can do, get a piece of rope, you can do two things, you can just it's just like an, um, if I take this piece here, hook it on there, I can go up and, and pull that up.
what you can do if you need to. Just don't pull the ladder over. Use the ladder edge there to hold it. And that way you can get the ladder, the piece up without having to drag it by itself. So I could, yeah. I could have left that down lower. Just come up with the ladder, uh, with the rope, and pull it up to me when I'm up here. Okay. With what we're doing here, it's not as I'm not, not needing it, but you can always get a bit of rope and pull it up. Don't try and climb the ladder while you're dragging. It can get pretty difficult. So this time I'm going to get right up here. This gets more difficult because you're trying to tie a knot whilst holding some weight. So the secret one I'm doing here, I'm looping it over the rail a few times before I try and tie the knot. So I'm running it around it. So I'm not trying to tie the knot while it's pulling down. Just give me a few seconds to do this. So I'm actually tying a like a shoelace bow there. So when we come to undo it, it's like I'm doing a shoelace. Mm -hmm. So I pull it up. Wrap it around. Wrap it around and then I can All right, you don't need to watch the whole video. You can now just see we just move back the opposite direction, bringing it up piece by piece. When you hook it up, it's even easier than the tying, okay?